we're going to find part of a number with or without multiplying fractions. If you want to find 2 thirds of 36 or 12 is 2 thirds of what number, we can do it with or without multiplying fractions. Now, as a real quick review, multiplying fractions, we can write a 6 as a 6 over 1. Then we just multiply straight across. The numerator to the numerator, denominator to the denominator, 2 times 6 is 12, 3 times 1 is 3, we end up with 12 thirds, and when we simplify it, we get a 4. Now, we can simplify the problem by cross-canceling with the greatest common factor for the 3 and the 6. We'll get into that in a second. I just want you to remember that you can go straight across numerators, straight across denominators for now, okay? For dividing fractions, we flip the fraction around as the reciprocal where the denominator is on the top and the numerator is on the bottom, and then we just multiply straight across, okay? We can also simplify this with the greatest common factor and cross-canceling, but hang on for now, okay? So, with or without multiplying fractions, we can find 2 thirds of 36. We can do it by dividing and then multiplying. We divide the 36 by the 3 denominator and get a 12. And then we multiply that 12 by the 2 numerator, and we get a 24. Now we can multiply fractions. 2 thirds of 36, 2 thirds times 36. So remember when it's next to parentheses, that means multiply. We can write the 36 as a 36 over 1. We can go straight across. 2 times 36 is 72. 3 times 1 is 3. 72 thirds reduces down to 24. Now we can also do the cross-canceling I was talking about.